Hello again, my friends. It's good to be back here with you this week. And um, one of the things that we talked about before that I really miss is being in church with you so that we can see each other and have conversations and I can ask questions and you can give me answers. But in the last few months, we haven't been seeing many people at all, have we? We haven't um, been in school at times where we've missed seeing our teachers. We've missed being able to see our friends. Um, we haven't seen our doctors in person. Um, we may not have even seen our relatives, our grandmas and our grandpas and our aunts and uncles. We've had to stay socially distanced. We've had to stay apart, which has been sad and hard, but we have found ways to get together. And most of them involve um, things like Zoom or Google Classroom or FaceTime. There are ways that we have been able to get together um, using devices. Um, we've used our phones and our computers and our tablets to be together online. So when I am using my phone or my computer, there's um, some symbols on those devices that let me know when the power is getting low. Like if I see this symbol on my phone where there's a red line here on a picture of the battery, it means it's time to do something. I have to recharge the battery. So then I, I have several ways of doing that. I can use my disc or plug it into an outlet. And then I see this symbol, which means that the power is going up in the battery on my device. And when it's all charged, the battery turns all white and the line is up here, which means that there has been a lot of energy and power that's gone into my phone especially so that I can keep connected with my friends and my family. But I have to keep those things charged. I have to keep my phone charged if it's going to work properly. Some of you may use batteries um, in your toys or your um, phones or your computers to make them work. Some of you may be able to plug your phone in using something that looks like this. You, this goes into the end of the phone and this goes into the outlet where there's power and then your phone or your tablet can recharge. And I just got one of these, it's called a disc so that all I have to do is put the phone on top of the disc and it recharges for me. It has to stay there a while, but it helps me to stay connected to everybody. So I'm really grateful that I have a way to keep in touch with everybody at a time when we're not supposed to be together in big groups. There are ways that we can find to stay in touch. You know, some days I wish that I had a battery indicator on myself because if I had this symbol that was attached to me I could say hmm my battery is getting low I need to recharge I need to do something that is going to restore me and make me feel better um, make me feel more connected um, because sometimes just like our phones and our computers the battery, our batteries get low. You know, we have lots to do. Um, there's things to do for school. There's things to do um, to get ready to teach. There's things to do around our house. And sometimes we can become, instead of a human being, we can become a human doing, where we're doing, doing, doing all the time. And we get tired and we need to um, find a way to put some energy back into us. Because if we run out of energy, we can't do the things that we need to do. We don't feel like we're, um, we don't feel comfortable. We might get tired and cranky. So I wish I had one of these <laughs> that would tell me that it's time just to take a break and to withdraw from my busy life and to do something that's going to make me feel better. Um, I'm going to read you some scripture today from the book of Mark. And it's from the first chapter, 
We're going to start with verse 29, and we're going to hear about Jesus and some of the things that he was doing and in his ministry and how busy he got and what he did to connect to God and to recharge his batteries. As soon as they left the synagogue, they entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Now Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, and they told him about her at once. He came and took her by the hand and lifted her up, and then the fever left her, and she began to serve them. That evening at sunset, they brought to him all who were sick or possessed with demons, and the whole city was gathered around the door. And he cured many who were sick with various diseases, cast out many demons, and he would not permit the demons to speak because they knew him. In the morning, while it was still very dark, he got up and went out to a deserted place, and there he prayed. And Simon and his companions hunted for him. And when they found him, they said to him, everyone is searching for you. And he answered, let us go to the neighboring towns so that I may proclaim the message there also. For that is what I came out to do. And he went throughout Galilee, proclaiming the message in their synagogues and casting out demons. So let's think about that scripture for a minute. Um, Jesus is traveling with his disciples. And in particular, this scripture mentions Simon and Andrew and James and John. They're all traveling together and they go to visit Simon's mother-in-law, and she was sick, and he cured her. And the people in the town heard what he was doing, and suddenly everyone from the town came to the house where they were staying. And Jesus suddenly was surrounded by many, many people who were sick or had some kind of, of problem that they needed help with, and he was able to cure them. But it must have taken a very long time and taken a lot of energy to see all those people and, and to cure them um, and to make them feel better. So the next morning, it says very clearly, he got up when it was still dark outside and he left the house and he went off by himself and he prayed. Jesus had found a way to spiritually recharge. He found a way to reconnect with God so he could keep on doing the things that he needed to do in his ministry. So, you know, we need to think about ways that we can stay connected to God. You know, we need to think of ways that we can um, stay energetic and have the energy that we need to help other people, to um, feel God in our lives. And, you know, sometimes we'll get to a point where we feel like our battery level is going down, down, down. Our energy level is going down and our connectedness with God is going down. And we have to find ways to put that energy back into our spiritual battery so that we can feel like he is a vital presence, that he is working in our lives and that we can do the things that he wants us to do. So let's think for a minute, what could we do to help that to happen? Um, certainly in the scripture, it says that Jesus prayed. That was an important part of how he stayed, um, in, in, uh, stay, stayed energized, stayed um, being able to do the things that he wanted to do. Um, we used to be able to go to church once a week and worship together. That's a good way of staying energized, but we can't do that right now. But we can attend church online and you can come every week and listen to my stories and talk to your family about the messages that you hear. Um, we can go for a walk outside and look around us and see all of the beautiful things that God has put in this world just for us because there's so many gorgeous things right now to see. So, you know, we want to be sure that that we um, get outside and, and get some fresh air and, and just marvel at God's world. Um, there's a Bible study too for your moms and dads and your grandmas and grandpas to go to um, so that they can read the scripture and, and perhaps share it with you about the messages that they hear when they read the Bible. You might even find a time as, as um, in your home as your family 
can get together and read scripture and talk about what it means. So um, you might want to just take a while after we're done here this morning and talk about um, where is your battery level right now? Is it way up here? Is it down here? Is it someplace in the middle? Where is your inside spiritual battery? Are you feeling God in your life? Are you feeling connected? Does learning about Jesus and what he did make you feel good? Make you want to help other people and do things for your family and to take good care of yourself? So take a minute with your family and talk about that. Where is your battery level right now? What can you do to recharge and connect with God? Because part of taking our Part of taking care of ourselves is being in a good relationship with God. And sometimes we need to think about how we can make that happen and make it happen as, as often as we can. So would you say a prayer with me now, please? Dear God, we know ways to recharge our bodies, but our spirits need to be recharged as well. Thank you for the example of your son, Jesus Christ. He took time to have quiet time away from his work to connect with you, and he prayed. We can pray also and worship you. We can't be in church yet, but we can read scripture, walk in your beautiful world, and quietly listen for your guiding voice. Help us to, us to stay connected to you. Thank you so much for sending your son Jesus to us, and we thank you for the messages that he brought and also his example of taking time to be in relationship with you. In his name we pray. Amen. Thanks. We'll see you again next week. Have a great time this week and stay warm. <laughs>